lesson I'm going to teach you how to change or update your information in Angel. Some of you have your name that is your official name and that's the name you have on your passport and all your documents but you also have a nickname a name that you would like your classmates to call you okay because for example we already know that your what's your whole name? Uh, Midget Samdan. He wants to be called Jay. That's a lot easier for us to remember. So when you log into Genesis, you log in as Jay, and then we call, call you Jay. How about on Angel? I will show you how to do that. Look on Angel. Maybe what I'll do now is I'll show you on my big screen. And there's a, there's a button here with a silhouette of a face. All right, so you see the silhouette of a person. This is your preference button. All right, let's do that. Click the preference button, please. Click the preference button and angel. Then you will see four options, personal information, change password, theme selector, and system settings. We're only going to do the first one, personal information. That's the only one. Don't touch the other ones. Just go to personal information. Open it for you. Please open it now. Look at yours. All right. On my screen, it will show you, it will show uh, viewable by everyone. And it shows my first name is Marsha. It shows my last name is Chan. And I don't put any middle name because it doesn't matter to me. It's, you don't need to know that. And there is, there's a section called About Me. And I wrote a paragraph about myself. So if you want to get information about me, you can read it. If you want to write something about yourself, don't do it right now. Do it later, and then you can put it in this spot. Now, the next thing that I want you to be careful about, we can skip this section about organizational settings. That means, according to our college, how do we set it up? Don't touch that part. That's fine. I want you to look at the section called Contact Settings. Are you with me? Can you find that on your screen? Okay, good. Contact settings. You see the www settings. The first one is email. Check your email. Is it correct? Yes. Good. If it's correct, that's wonderful. Because the email comes from my web portal, my Mission College web portal. So my WVM portal. That information that you use on your main login for all the student data gets transferred into Angel. So if this is the same, that means both of your records are the same. So don't change it here. That's fine. Now, mine will show Marsha.chan. No, 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 no. Marsha.chan at, we call this one at, wvm.edu. So that's correct for me. And on the right side, it says viewable by. Now, viewable by has a drop down arrow. So when you drop down the arrow, you can see who can view this information. Right now, it shows that all the course members can view the information. If I want to change it, I'll put everyone. Everyone can view this information. It's public information. If you search for me on the web and you look for Marsha Chan, you'll find hundreds of hits on Marsha Chan, and you will also go to Mission College and you'll see my address, so why should I hide it? I'll just leave it to everyone, okay? If you want everyone, that's fine. If you want only the course members, that means people in our class and your teacher to see it, then you can change it to course members only. Now, um, homepage. The next one is homepage. I have a homepage, so I put my homepage address in here, and if you have a homepage, you can do that too, but that's optional. It also says who can see it, and you can use the drop down arrow to choose. For me, everyone can see it, so I'm going to change mine to say everyone. All right? Now, it also says photo URL. URL, this, this is an abbreviation. The, the name is long, it means uniform resource locator. It's like the web address. So, if there's a photo of me on the website that I can share with you, then I can put that in here. 
if you have a photo of yourself on the website that you would like to share with the class, you can put the address or the URL in this spot where it says photo URL. If you don't have one yet, you can click the add button. After you click the add button, then you will need to click the browse button to locate the picture. Maybe you don't have one on the web somewhere else, but maybe you have a picture of yourself, a photo of your beautiful face on your computer. Do you have a photo of yourself? Okay, so maybe you would like to find that on your computer and then you can, if you browse for it, you find it, then you can click upload picture and then it will go into Angel. And here it tells again, viewable by whom? You can decide. Everybody? Everybody means only people at West Valley and Mission. It doesn't mean the whole world. It only means people within Angel. Okay? Or if you just want the students and members, people of our class, you can limit it to that. Okay? If you want only your teacher to see it, you can go to the bottom and choose course administrators and then only I can see your beautiful face and nobody else can okay so that's the limit now underneath that is the phone settings do you see the phone settings please put in your phone numbers sometimes I need to contact you all right in the other system it's a little bit hard <coughs> to find all your phone numbers in this system it's a lot easier if you put in your work phone, your home phone, your cellular phone, and you can decide viewable by whom. So for example, I put in my work phone number and that's viewable by everyone because this is a public number. I'm at a public school. Everyone can find me. If I, even if I close it here, still everyone, I don't mind. Then I also have my cellular phone, but I don't want everybody. But if you need something for emergency and you can't find me at my my work phone, then you can look me up on my cell phone. Okay? So I, I select only my students can see that. Okay? So you can put in your phone numbers now. All right? Do you have your phone numbers? All your phone numbers? Why don't you put them in? Make sure that they are accurate. You need the area code three digits, right? And then the seven digit telephone number. Check your address. The address settings means your physical address, not your email address. That means your home. So you can put your home address there. I put my work address because this is for, for teaching. So I put my Mission College address here and I make sure that everything's correct. Now, alternate address settings means if you want to add a different address. That's probably not necessary, so I say skip it. Now, very important, at the bottom there's a button that says save. Okay, you have to click the save button because if you don't click the save button, what will happen? Nothing will change. Nothing will change. It'll be the same as before. Now, let me go back to the name. Some of you have a name that you would like us to call you instead. Now, let's say I'm going back all the way up and it says first name Marsha. Okay, but I want you to call me Minnie Mouse. <laughs> Then I put in parentheses, all right? I'll put something like this. I'll put this in parentheses, okay? So then it will say Marsha, my, my official name, all right? Or maybe I decide I don't want you to call me my English name. You should call me my Chinese name. My Chinese name is Mei Ling. So I'll put Mei Ling instead, all right? And if I put something in parentheses, that means that's the name I want us to be called in class, all right? And then again, you will go down and click the save button to save it. Got it? Okay, but I don't want to change my name. I don't want to change my stuff, so I'm going to click cancel. I'm clicking cancel. But if you change something, please click save. And that's it. All right? So after you do that, whenever I get an email from you or we see each other's information and listen to each other's uh, audio, we can see that other name. All right? So Elena Liu, Fang Fang Liu. Right? You, you're Fang Fang, but you would like us to call you Elena, so if you put that in parentheses on your angel, then it'll be great. Now, your angel information changes, uh, no, your angel information, I think, goes back to the 
original. Let me ask Susan. Susan, did you change your name last semester? Did you change your name this semester on, on Angel? Yeah, in Angel, did you did you do it last semester? You put Susan, right? Yeah. How about this semester? Did you have to do it again? No. No, it kept it. Okay, so you did it last semester. You didn't need to do, need to do it again. Yeah. Okay, I didn't know that because my my role is not a student, so I'm not sure how the student's role is. Okay, so that's all you need to know about how to update your uh, preference information in Angel. Again, that's clicking on the preference button, which looks like a silhouette of a person and then going to your personal information. Whatever you change, you must put save at the bottom and that's it.